We are joined by Rose McIver from iZombie and it is such a pleasure to have you on Skype. I have followed your career for a really long time. My claim to fame is that I auditioned for a role that you got and that's as close oh, as I'm... Oh, you're Yeah. <laughs> for um, Tangawai in New Zealand and oh my gosh, I was just so stoked to even be auditioning for something that you got because you're such an incredible actress. Now, when we oh. watch you on iZombie, as Kiwis, I know we feel so proud of you. Caddy Cups, Centre for Disease Control. It's nice to meet you. Olivia Moore, Assistant ME. Liv, this is my old boss, the one who fired me. I gathered. Well, why don't we put the body right there and let's get started, shall we? Was Hollywood success always the goal, or would you have been happy working in your local theatre? Oh, I would have been so happy working at home, and I still plan on doing it. Um, New Zealand is still very much home to me. This is kind of... It's, it's great to be in the States. There's tons of work opportunities. Is there anything in the works at the moment? Well, we're hoping to go back for season four on iZombie, so that would keep me kind of under wraps for uh, at least the next year. What does that look like? <clears throat> I'm not sure. You, Miss Moore? What does what look like? That's brain in the digestive tract. Now, you're only 28 years old and you've had such a di diverse career already. What is the key to not getting typecast? Well, I think right now the biggest advice I have for people is create your own material because if you don't want to be playing the same character over and over again, you have the power with things like YouTube and um, iPhones, you can make your own material and it can actually get seen. So I think changing it up yourself and casting yourself in the roles you want to be playing is the most useful thing you can do. We're all on the same team. We eat brains and we solve murders. I'm not so sure that this is the best time for me to be on Teenage Girl Brain. Suck it up, Lily White. You gotta break some rules. And before we went on Skype, uh, you said that you were doing a writing session at home today. So are you working on your own material? Always, yeah. I am. Um, I kind of. I'm working on some theatre at the moment. I've been dying to to crack into a bit of a theatre scene in LA, and that's hard. So, I'm looking to make my own material there. It's early days, but who knows? Maybe it'll come to New Zealand too. Now you started acting as a kid, and I read in an interview you said at that age it's not really acting. So when did you mm -hmm. realise that you were actually pretty good at this whole acting thing? Oh, I still have my days. Um, really. I, it, it was a really fulfilling creative outlet when I was at high school um, and I know that it's always something that will be part of my life. I would also like to direct and make material so I guess it just, it to me, made more sense than anything else I would do and it's the only job which doesn't really feel like work. It feels like um, a form of expression so I feel very lucky to be able to do that and and I hope to continue doing it. Well, you're very good at it as well. You're amazing. Your American accent as well. I mean, your character talks so fast, she's really quick-witted, and you never slip up on the accent. It's incredible. I know what's happening right now with the brain, but it still freaks me out. Well, if anyone can get used to it, it's you. So season three of iZombie has just come out, and it is a really creative, clever, hilarious show. I, I am a big fan. What stands out for you about this season? I guess for me, uh, this season we get to see a much bigger picture. We get to meet like a lot more zombies. Um, and I feel like the first couple of seasons have been getting to know Liv and the gang. And now we get to see how they can or can't help this kind of potential zombie outbreak that's going to happen in Seattle. These guys are zombies. They know how to eliminate zombies. Get cover! We think of everything. Now, it seems like you get along really well with your cast and crew. If you don't, you're an even better actress than we think. Um, <laughs> we but are, are there any Kiwiisms that they make fun of you for? Yeah, when I say, oh, I reckon we should be there by lunchtime, reckon is something that is very southern and like quite old fashioned here. So that, that phrase always gets a bit of a laugh. Sweet as is always misunderstood, so you've got to be careful with that oh. one. And, and you don't get to hear too much Māori around here, so uh, yeah, that's that, whenever a little bit of tumeki or kia ora comes out, they're always a little confused, so <laughs> I miss home for that. Oh, well, you are ripping us very well over there. Before you go, we would love for you to read out some famous movie lines and see what it would sound like if a Kiwi had played those roles. Perfect, I'd are you love up for to. It? Okay, great. Wizard of Oz. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I like that, I love Toto. 
<laughs> Ta da! <laughs> so okay, away. Mean girls. That is so fetch. That's so fetch. <laughs> they would all be so confused by that one because they'd think I'm saying F I T C H. Fetch. Oh, that's so fetch. And so this fetch. one here from the wonderful Eye Zombie if Liv were a Kiwi. I need some aspirin and a new brain. I need some aspirin and a new brain. I like it. I reckon you could do a season of Eye Zombie where Liv's just magically a Kiwi. She could eat the brain of a Kiwi. What's buying in for that performance? I mean, line up. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with us. I, I think you're sure. awesome. The show is fantastic. And it's so Thanks. nice to meet someone who is doing so well and yet is just down to earth and humble. So you deserve all the success that you get. Thank you. Wizard of Oz. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I like that. I love Toto. Toto. <laughs> <laughs>